In this video, I'm going to show you how important internet speed is when watching your security cameras. I have four cameras here in live view. It's a mix of 1080p and four megapixel cameras. So I have amazing internet speed thanks to Verizon Fios, which is a fiber connection. And I have about 150 megs going up and down on the internet connection where the NVR is located and where I'm viewing from. My four cameras are using, uh, according to this Windows Task Manager, uh, about uh, up to 20 megabits per second at any point when I'm watching these four cameras in live view. So one of my cameras is about six megs per second, another is about four megs and so forth. You have to calculate what your total bitrate is by looking at these cameras from a local network and looking at what this um, is giving you. This is about two megabits per second. This is about 10 megabits per second and so forth. Uh, 1000 kilobits per second means one megabit. So now um, I'm going to show you with a good fast internet connection, for example in my case watching these four cameras, how fluid the video can be. So I'm going to have someone, they're going to walk in here and notice I can look at every one of their steps moving around. I'm not missing out on anything. As they go from one camera to another, I can watch them walk through. Now I'm going to show you the same thing if my internet speed is only 10 megs per second. So keep in mind, right now it's about 150, so I have more internet than I even need. But now I'm gonna basically set it to be 10 megs only. So now I've actually moved on over to an internet connection that only gives me about 10 megabits per second maximum. As you can see, my ethernet is getting maxed out at 10 megabits per second. And no more, so it's 9.9 .9 megabits per second. Watch what happens, it's the same kind of motion. And let's watch these cameras. I'm gonna have the person walk through. See, everything's now getting kind of stuck and jumpy. I'm losing the person walking over here. And now they're already walking past here. Well, they're still walking here. It's the same one person, but it, he's all over the place. The, the reason I'm seeing, and now he's walking actually back out through here into this door. So what's happening here? The reason we see this is because there's not enough data to go from each one of the channels back to my computer screen and everything is just trying to play catch up. One camera is caught up while the other is still trying to flow through the video and everything's also jumpy. So when you don't have a fast upload speed on your internet connection, let's say you have Cox or Spectrum, any kind of cable modem and it doesn't provide you fast upload internet speeds, that means your NVR is gonna have to deal with that lower bandwidth and the video is gonna get throttled when you try to watch it remotely. So your internet speed plays a very important role in how fluid your video is gonna be when you watch it off site. One way to go around that limitation is to view your cameras in substream mode and it can allow you to view a certain amount of cameras as long as your total substream bandwidth is less than what your total upload speed is. Meaning, if you watch all your cameras in substream mode and they're gonna be less than, let's say, five megabits per second or 10 megabits per second, then awesome, it'll work for you. Even then, there's a limit. For example, if you wanna watch 16 or 32 cameras, you've just gotta get a fiber internet connection to watch them off-site. So now, I, to deal with my 10 megabits slow internet connection, I'm gonna switch to a favorite view that I have to watch my cameras in substream mode. So what happens here is that you see my data rate goes down a lot. Instead of this being 2,000 something, now it's only 446. So this being 10,000, it's only 517. So what am I doing? I'm actually watching them in a lower resolution stream version. My recorder is still recording the full stream, but for viewing on a slow internet connection, I've lowered down what my total bitrate is. So now I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to show you first how much network I'm using. Total of maybe it's jumping between 1.8 and 3.1. So it's able to deal with my 10 megabit internet connection. And I'm no longer reaching this plateau and maxing out the connection. So now it should be more fluid. I'm going to have that person walk through and show you the same thing with my 10 megabit connection but it's a lot more fluid. Why? Because I'm within the total capacity of my upload speed. See, I can watch every single step. 
no skipping, nothing like that. Now this is all dependent on what your total megabit consumption is relative to your upload internet speed where the recorder is and also your download speed where you're viewing from. I hope this helps shed more light into this matter either if you're planning a purchase or you're viewing this after your purchase. Hopefully this helps you better understand how important internet speed is and the kind of video viewing quality you get. Thanks for watching.